Ancient technologies exist that surpass modern scientific capabilities. These technologies challenge conventional timelines of human advancement. Their sophistication defies easy replication by current scientific methods. This suggests a re-evaluation of historical technological progress. Divers explore a Roman shipwreck site located underwater off the coast of Greece. During their exploration, they discover a corroded bronze artifact. This artifact is identified as the Antikythera Mechanism. The Antikythera Mechanism is an ancient mechanical calculator. Its discovery provides valuable insights into ancient technology. The Antikythera Mechanism is being meticulously cleaned and examined in a laboratory setting. Archaeologists are working to reveal the mechanism's complex gears and intricate design. The examination aims to understand the function and purpose of this ancient device. The process involves careful removal of debris and detailed analysis of each component. The Antikythera Mechanism was an ancient device used for astronomical predictions. It could accurately forecast eclipses and the motion of planets. The mechanism also tracked star cycles and predicted Olympic events. Its precision highlights advanced technological capabilities of the time. Modern engineers are attempting to replicate the Antikythera mechanism's gear ratios by hand. This process highlights the extreme difficulty involved in creating such a device. The effort underscores the precision required for the mechanism's functionality. The manual reproduction demonstrates the advanced engineering knowledge of the original creators. The Great Pyramid is a testament to ancient Egyptian engineering and architectural prowess. Its massive scale is immediately apparent, dominating the surrounding landscape. The pyramid is constructed from precisely cut and fitted stone blocks. The precision of the construction reflects advanced knowledge of mathematics and astronomy. The Great Pyramid stands as a symbol of the power and ingenuity of the ancient Egyptian civilization. The interior of Egyptian pyramids features granite blocks. These blocks exhibit exceptionally smooth surfaces. The cuts on the granite blocks are remarkably precise. This precision indicates advanced construction techniques the smooth surfaces suggest sophisticated tools. The overall quality reflects a high degree of skill. Microscopic analysis involves detailed examination using magnification tools. The analysis of granite blocks reveals specific tool marks. These marks exhibit a spiral pattern, indicative of a rotating tool. The marks resemble those created by modern CNC machining techniques. The demonstration highlights the difficulty of using copper chisels on granite. Copper, being a relatively soft metal, is ineffective at cutting granite. This raises questions about the methods used by ancient Egyptians to cut granite stones. The precision of ancient Egyptian stonework suggests advanced, but unknown, techniques. The mystery surrounding these techniques continues to intrigue researchers and historians. The Iron Pillar of Delhi is a historical monument located in the Qutub complex, Mehrauli, Delhi, India. It is notable for the rust-resistant composition of the iron used in its construction. The pillar stands at a height of over seven meters, showcasing the advanced metallurgical skills of ancient Indian blacksmiths. An inscription in Sanskrit indicates that it was erected in honor of the Hindu god Vishnu and in memory of the Gupta king Chandragupta II. Estimated to have been built around 402 CE, the pillar has withstood centuries of weather with minimal corrosion. Its enduring presence serves as a testament to ancient India's contributions to material science and engineering. The Iron Pillar in Delhi is known for its remarkable resistance to corrosion. It has withstood centuries of exposure to harsh weather conditions without significant rusting. Close-up shots reveal the pillar's surface. 
showcasing its unique composition. The pillar's rust-resistant properties are attributed to advanced metallurgical techniques. Metallurgists conduct compositional analysis of the iron pillar. The analysis aims to identify the unique properties of the iron pillar. A key focus is to determine the corrosion-resistant formula. Understanding this formula is crucial for material science. The iron pillar's resistance provides insights into advanced metallurgy. Modern laboratories are attempting to replicate the alloy composition of the iron pillar of Delhi. A primary challenge is achieving the same level of purity found in the original alloy. Another difficulty lies in reproducing the pillar's exceptional resistance to corrosion. These reproduction efforts are hindered by the absence of advanced industrial techniques available to the original creators. The Baalbek platform is a significant archaeological site in Lebanon. It is renowned for its massive stone blocks, including the Trilithon. The Trilithon consists of three of the largest stones ever used in construction. These stones showcase the remarkable engineering capabilities of ancient civilizations. The Trilithon stones are located in Lebanon. They are notable for their immense size and weight. Each stone weighs up to 1,200 tons. The stones represent a feat of ancient engineering. Their construction and transport remain a topic of archaeological interest. The Trilithon stones stand as a testament to ancient construction capabilities. Trilithon stones are massive structures, each weighing several tons. Modern cranes have impressive lifting capacities, measured in tons. Comparing the weight of the stones to crane capacity highlights the engineering challenge. Moving such stones would require cranes with significant lifting capabilities. Unfinished stones near Baalbek exceed the size of the Trilithon stones. Archaeologists are examining these stones to understand ancient engineering. The stone size suggests advanced engineering capabilities. The unfinished state provides insights into ancient quarrying techniques. The Pantheon in Rome stands as a testament to architectural durability. It has been remarkably preserved for nearly 2,000 years. Exterior shots highlight the building's enduring classical design. Interior views showcase the dome and its oculus, key to its structural integrity. Modern concrete structures are subject to gradual degradation over time. This degradation can occur due to various environmental factors. One major factor is weathering, including freeze-thaw cycles. Chemical attacks from pollutants also contribute to concrete breakdown. The process can span decades, leading to structural compromise. Regular maintenance is crucial to mitigate and slow down degradation. Researchers are analyzing samples of Roman concrete in a laboratory setting. The analysis reveals the presence of volcanic ash as a key component. Volcanic ash contributes significantly to the concrete's durability. The concrete exhibits self-healing properties due to the unique composition. This self-healing capability enhances the longevity of Roman concrete structures. Roman concrete possesses a self-healing mechanism that allows it to repair cracks automatically. This self-healing property is attributed to the presence of volcanic ash in the concrete mixture. When cracks form, water seeps into the concrete structure. The water then reacts with the volcanic ash present within the concrete. This reaction leads to the formation of new minerals, such as calcium aluminosilicate hydrates. These newly formed minerals precipitate within the cracks, effectively filling and sealing them. The burning of ancient libraries represents a profound loss of accumulated knowledge. This destruction includes the erasure of technological advancements and innovations. Lost texts often contained unique insights into science, engineering, 
and mathematics. The suppression of these advancements delayed progress and altered historical trajectories. Reconstructing lost knowledge requires extensive research and speculative reconstruction. Ancient wars often resulted in widespread destruction. A significant consequence of this destruction was the erasure of records. The loss of knowledge represents a profound cultural crime. Destroying historical documents and artifacts deprives future generations of their heritage. The preservation of knowledge is vital for societal progress and understanding. Historical records document instances where engineers were killed or exiled. This persecution led to the suppression and disappearance of their specialized knowledge. The loss of skilled engineers resulted in a decline in technological capabilities. Society suffered setbacks due to the absence of engineering expertise. Various ancient sites showcase advanced capabilities and lost knowledge. These sites present mysteries and unanswered questions about past civilizations. The technologies discovered at these sites suggest sophisticated engineering. The montage reinforces the enigma surrounding these ancient achievements.